one sampler, so I'm gonna use that too. Oh yeah. And I'm probably gonna trim it. Because I usually would just kind of swirl it, you know, make a swirl and just tighten it. Mm -hmm. And have them come out this side. You're pretty calm about getting stung, too. <laughs> I don't get stung with you unless I lean on them. You want me to hold it or do anything to help you? No, I just have to kind of figure it out. Okay. I'm like, I'm not going to go that way. It's kind of Smoke my head. What was the biggest cutout you've ever done? Um, biggest? Probably the last tree where it was so heavy. Mm -hmm. We, had to, we um, had to bring it back here and the bees weren't happy so they actually left. They were from the top of that tree which is what, 50 feet? 30 feet? Mm -hmm. The tunnel was from the top of the tree all the way to the ground. Oh my gosh. Full. So they didn't want to stay. But at least we rescued them. That's the good news.
make them happier. So I have to give them uh, probably some feed, some honey flow, um, and, and, I, and I need to get them to the point where they want to stay here. So what I'm going to do is you'll see, I, I'm going to close the, reduce the entrance, give them a couple feeders with some sugar water, and then um, try to make it as comfortable for them to stay. So you only use essential oils? Um, yeah, I, it has to be extreme for me to use something else. But I try to do things as organically as possible. So because the sun, they can see through this, mm -hmm. they'll still think that, you know, that's the entrance. And they won't know to hit this area here. Okay. And I'll come back and staple it later. I'm just going to duct tape it for now so you can tell my stapler. But you just want to try to create this tunnel effect. You know, the wire mesh is good for that too. But you can see they're going to try to figure out how to get out. Mm -hmm. And they haven't figured it out yet. So they're like, well, I want to go to the sun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably go up like this. And it'll force them to come more to the top. them coming out. And then you can always move it, like if you find they're going back in there too much, you just kind of can shape this and move it mm -hmm. during the week mm -hmm. to keep giving them a smaller and smaller opening. See that they'll mm -hmm. figure it out. And you can see already they're trying to get in. If you come over the other side of the hive, see they're trying to get in that bottom part and they can't come there. See, there she goes. They figured it out. So you can, um, you know, use it. Once they, once they start doing it, a couple of them will go. They'll figure it out. And you've already put food in this hive? In this, I gave it some honey and some lemon uh, oil. Lemon oil, I believe oh, yeah. lemon oil is, that's what you use lemon, lemongrass. If you buy a pheromone, it smells like lemon. I believe the cookie smells like lemon. Because they're very attracted to that, that oil. So as I get a stapler, what I'll do is I'll tighten up. Yeah. See, they're coming out here. I'll tighten this up. get more of a tube. So you only want to give them a really small opening here. And they won't know to come back here. And then like I said, you just if, if they start figuring it out, you just can move it to the side or move it again. But that's basically it. Yeah.